Welcome back Guardians, Rollin81PR here with another video to pique your interest in our growing channel. So everyone and their mother has been putting out videos of the Black Spindle secret mission and well I thought we'd give it a shot. So Seabriggs and I really wanted to just get it, get it done. We just couldn't find the right strategy. We joined up with one of our friends, her name is Devious Muffin, that's a shout out to her. She helped us out and we got it. Once you have made your way through the not-so-secret door, head up to the lift that gets you onto the catch. When you enter the catch, Variks will communicate to you, in his always positive manner, that the catch is no longer in fallen hands, but it is taken by taken. And you, being the Guardians, have to clear them all out. Oh! And you only have 10 minutes to get it done from the moment you walk through the first door. As you can see, things are pretty hectic at first. You have Blights, Knights, and a Centurion all honing in on you with their attacks. Initially, you want to take the Blights down and then get some heavy fire damage on those Knights to get them down as well. A few Thrall and Scions later, and you make your way to the Centurion. Arc Rocket Launcher, Machine Gun, or Shotguns will take him down and you'll be all set. We got this portion done relatively quick, having 8 minutes and 45 seconds left gave us a decent cushion for the next big wave of enemies that we had to face. Be aware as you go down because you will be surrounded by enemies on your left and right. A few fire grenades and some quick shots will take them down pretty quick. Just make sure you get the captain first because if he blinds you then you might get taken out a little earlier than you wanted to. Now here is where communication and just plain staying alive is key. When you enter the room, there are three blights that need to get taken down. You saw the first one in the front. This one right here is in the back corner, very easily visible and accessible for shooting. The next one is in the back left corner, and this one, you gotta be really determined. As you can see, I was very determined to take this blight down. Once you have cleared the room of the majority of the ads, try to hop up onto that platform and give that vandal something to think about. Maybe a shotgun shell in the face might make him think twice before he takes another shot at you. Also, do an ammo run. Heavy ammo and some of those nice herbs of light, those will come in handy. It is time to defeat Drizix for the ultimate reward. With about 5 minutes and 35 seconds, we were feeling confident. The same type of strategy is used in the last room, Blight Control and Ad Control. So what helped take down the Blights the quickest was to have one person sniping and the other two are on Ad Control. But the best advice I can give you is to just stay out of that little mini death trap that is right at the entrance. You will get blinded. It will have you wasting time and moving back and forth trying to get damage on Blights and then trying to take out ads and then trying to take down Drivix and then more ads. There's just too many ands to deal with. So try to be as mobile as possible and only go back to the mini death trap for cover. I had a pretty good spot on the platform to the left of the room until a Blight spawned on me. But hey, I kept my cool and we made it through. As you can see, got the black spindle and some legendary marks to boot. So, with that, to all you guardians out there who are itching to get the 310 Black Spindle, here you go. Please like, subscribe, and comment. This is Roll On 81 PR, signing off.